Senators, along with two Congress members, are calling for investigations into the actions of the federal officers. I spoke with Senator Ron Wyden today about why the Democrat thinks the federal officer's presence is pouring gasoline on a fire. A warning, some people may find some of these images disturbing. This assault that Donald Trump has launched by parachuting these um, forces in, into our city raised serious questions about the constitutional rights of, uh, of Oregonians. This is part of what Senator Ron Wyden is talking about. Donovan LaBella was outside the federal courthouse last weekend holding a boombox over his head. Federal police tossed a tear gas canister towards him and he tossed it back. And then he was shot in the head with what may have been a rubber bullet. According to family social media, he has some brain damage and loss of eyesight, but is improving. Senator Wyden is also talking about reports of federal officers picking up protesters in unmarked vans, only to release them later because they didn't do anything wrong. They are just hands off with respect to the coronavirus. The states and localities are on their own, and then they're saying uh, that with respect to Black Lives Matter, not only are they not going to be hands off, they're going to be hands on and they're going to come in with clenched fists in the military. Shouldn't somebody do something about what is happening downtown, the destruction, uh, the spray painting, the elk statue? The way to turn this around is not to say, as Donald Trump and Chad Wolf are saying, that everybody is a, a violent anarchist, but to recognize that when you have you know, anarchists, where are they from? I think they basically tried to infiltrate a lot of the Black Lives Matter uh, effort, peaceful uh, protesters. Uh, I've made it clear that I'm opposed to violence in any way, shape, or, or, or form. So Wyden, Senator Jeff Merkley, Representative Suzanne Bonamici, and Earl Blumenauer are all asking the Department of Justice and Homeland Security offices of inspector generals to investigate what's going on.